guys, it's Amy here and today I bring you my December book haul. So I think this is going to be my final book haul of 2017. I don't think I'm going to be getting any books for Christmas because I haven't asked for any, um, but possibly I will buy some. So if I do buy any over Christmas, I'll show you those in January. Christmas is literally just around the corner and I've managed to get myself a cold just in time. So that's perfect. Is everyone ready? Are you excited for Christmas? I certainly am. I cannot wait until four o'clock on Friday afternoon when I will be free. So let's jump into the books that I have acquired recently. I have a few from publishers and some that I bought myself. So let's begin. We'll kick things off with publishers. Firstly, we have This Is Going To Hurt, Secret Diaries of a Junior Doctor by Adam Kay. This one was sent over by Pam McMillan. When I saw this one in the email from them, I jumped at the chance of getting it because it just sounds like the kind of non-fiction book that I would really enjoy. I think it's pretty self-explanatory what this one's about. Adam Kay is a junior doctor. He's sharing his experiences with being a junior doctor. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this one. Hopefully, possibly in the first few months of the year, I will get this one read because I don't have a great amount of non-fiction that I'm really excited about at the moment. So this one is the top of the list. Next we have one kindly sent over by Walker and that is Norse Myths, Tales of Odin, Thor and Loki. So this is like an illustrated compendium I guess of kind of Norse Myths. Norse Myth is a very... North. I can't say that. Norse Myths. There we go. So they asked if I would be interested in reading this one and as I don't really know much about Norse Myths... North, and as I don't really know much about Norse Myths I decided it would be nice to do it in illustrated form as you can see the Illustrations are pretty simple, but I do quite like that actually, so hopefully this one will be an enjoyable one and an educational one. It's a physically beautiful book, so it'll be good for anyone who likes this kind of thing for Christmas maybe. Next I have a couple that were sent over from Penguin. They sent me a lovely email that had a big selection of books that I could choose a couple from as a little Christmas treat, which was very, very nice of them. So the first one that I chose was Exit West by Mohsin Hamid. This one was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize this year. I've had this one on my wish list pretty much since it came out, so it's very nice to receive it as a gift for Christmas. This one follows two young people who are in the midst of falling in love but the country that they live in is either at war or is soon to be at war and so it's kind of them dealing with that and also trying to be with each other as well so I'm looking forward to this one I think it's going to be one I really enjoy and the second book that Penguin sent over was The Worm and the Bird by Coralie Bickford Smith this one is a similar design to another one which I think came out last year The Fox and the Star I haven't read that one but if I read this one and I really enjoy it I'll probably go and get that one as well you'll see from the rest of this book haul that I have actually been buying myself a lot of graphic novels because I still have like six books to read by the end of the month which I can totally do I think if I just spend my time sensibly the time when I have off and actually read rather than lay around eating like Christmas food and stuff so we'll have to see how that goes. I love the foiling on the front of this book it's beautiful and inside it's yeah like essentially a kind of picture book um, not many words but lots of beautiful illustrations. I'm really looking forward to reading this one in fact I might read it today when I finished editing this video so yes I will let you know what I think once I've read this one. So moving on to the books that I've bought for myself the only novel I have here to show you is The Man Who Stamped His Fingers by Fariba Hatrudi. So this one follows two young people who are on opposing sides of warring nations. From what I've read of the blurb the young woman is a prisoner of war and she is kind of a fiery beacon of hope amongst all the prisoners and kind of standing up to the guards and things like that and the young man in the story is amongst the colonels and the soldiers who are oppressing these people. I think it then follows them and they end up meeting kind of years and years later once the war has finished and it's like all their feelings and things that have happened since then so it sounds like one that could be really interesting. Again you guys know I really love reading books about war so I pick up things like this quite often so I'm very much looking forward to reading this one. I'll certainly let you know what I think once I've read it. So now we move on to the graphic novels which I may read by the end of the year. It just depends. I I mean I've got to read 12 books this month I've read six already and I don't know if I'm going to be able to read six more novels so I may filter in some of these graphic novels so the first one I have here is a fun home a family a tragic comic by Alison Bechdale so this is a, a graphic memoir of her life as you can see I've really been enjoying the graphic memoirs that I've been picking up this year I read Mouse and Persepolis as well and this kind of reminds me of those so I'm hoping I'll really enjoy it if I do decide to read this one by the end of the year you'll see it in my December wrap up if not I think I'll probably read it in January anyway so you'll be seeing a review of this one soon. Next we have a volume seven of Saga. You guys know if you've been here for the last few months that I've been slowly ticking away and picking up the rest of the Saga books because I just completely forgot about them for a while. And so now I have the last one, which kind of makes me a bit sad because I don't know when the next one comes out and I hope it is soon because otherwise I'm gonna have nothing to read. Although saying that, Deadly Class volume 
whatever volume they're on for Deadly Class comes out, I think, on Boxing Day. So I'm gonna pick up that because I really love Deadly Class and I feel like I haven't read one of those in a very, very long time. So yes, very much looking forward to reading this one. Everyone I know who's read Saga said that this one is really, really great. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. I think I probably will read this one by the end of the year just because I feel like I only just read volume six and I'm on a buzz for Saga. So yes, you'll see this one, I'm sure, at the end of the month. A completely new comic series that I've decided to pick up and start is Paper Girls. This is volume one, obviously. I saw this one, I believe, on Sana at Books and Quills channel. I'm sure she really loves this, or is it, was it Mercedes? Oh, I'm not sure. Somebody really likes this one and I thought it sounded really good. On the back here, it says, in the early hours after Halloween of 1988, four 12 year old newspaper delivery girls uncover the most important story of all time. That sounds pretty epic to me. Just looking through, I really love the kind of colour palette they've chosen. There's like lots of nice like purpley blues and pinks and stuff. And I like that a lot. Moving on to the final book I have to show you, and that is Ghost World by Daniel Cloud. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone mention this book on booktube. I'm sure people have, but I haven't seen a review of it. It just popped up in my recommended books after I'd clicked on a load of other things. And so I decided to pick it up. It sounded really good. So it basically follows these two people, Enid and Rebecca, who are two young women facing the unwelcome prospect of adulthood. I do really like coming of age stories or like young women finding themselves and kind of moving into the adult world because I don't know, I feel like I've been there and I'm probably still experiencing becoming an adult and so it's quite nice to read things like that, I think. I'd love to know down below if you guys have read this one. Come talk to me in the comments. So there we are, those are all the books that I have acquired in December. I'd love to hear down below if you've read any of these, what have you been buying recently? As always, I'll leave links to Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, everything I've mentioned today down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye.